Hey there, my traveling Pisces peeps. Okay, so our first day and night on the allure of the seas was amazing. The check-in process went super smooth, so we got out searching for some fun on the ship. It's a hush party. It is ridiculous how huge the allure of the seas is. In fact, it is the third largest cruise ship in the world. All right, guys, so you can see right there the difference between these two ships. This is the Allure of the Seas here on the left, and on the right, we have the Liberty of the Seas. The Liberty of the Seas is actually one of the top four largest cruise ships in the world as well. It has 16 decks and accommodates 5,400 passengers in a little over than 2,700 double occupancy staterooms and loft suites. This ship also has over 10 specialty restaurants, six pools, 10 jacuzzis and two surfing simulators that's not all though there are also rock climbing walls an ice skating rink and a huge selection of various shows and entertainment making it a tough decision of which ones are a must see what say you i say look at the gorgeous views from this Second level solarium. The solarium area is beautifully designed and has an adults only area with several hot tubs, plenty of lounge chairs, and a bar. On deck eight, they have a large garden area, which is a New York City Central Park replica and is filled with thousands of plants, a cute little bistro, and a specialty restaurant called Giovanni's. Besides the main dining room, our favorite specialty restaurant was the hibachi and sushi restaurant called the Izumi Hibachi Restaurant. This is where we celebrated Aaron's birthday. And I'm not gonna lie, we had quite a few pieces of pizza at the Sorrento's Pizza located on the Royal Promenade. Yep, we are definitely going to be hitting the gym when we get back from this trip. If you don't want to feel guilty though, while on this cruise, they even have a large running track and a full gym. Yeah, we are on vacation, so ain't nobody got no time for that. There is so much fun to be had on this ship though. Besides the rock climbing walls, they also have a miniature golf area, an area to play ping pong, basketball courts, game rooms, Oh, and did I mention that they even have a freaking zip line on the ship? We could not get our nerves up though to do this or the surf simulator like I had wanted to. So, guess we're going to have to book another cruise. Now, a tip for those first time cruisers. As soon as you get aboard, find a quiet place to sit and connect to the ship's app. You wanna go ahead and reserve any of the shows or activities that you want to do while aboard. How do you know which ones? Before your trip, make sure to go on the website to look up what type of entertainment they are going to have during your cruise dates. Believe me when I tell you they book up quickly and you do not wanna be disappointed if you can't get reservations. Our absolute favorite was the water show called the Ocean Araya, which we booked for early in the evening on our second night so that we would not miss out. When I say that this show is phenomenal, that is an understatement. This is definitely one that you want to book. Our second favorite show was the Monopoly Musical on Ice. The choreography was really well done and the music had us singing in our seats. And then coming in at third place for our favorite was a tie between the two comedy acts and the game show Love and Marriage. We could not stop laughing at either one of them. All right, guys, so it's time for Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia. So Mamma Mia is one of the shows that, that they play here on the Allure. It's supposed to be a really good show. I think it's like two hours long yeah, or somewhere two, around two that. Um, but unfortunately, they told us that we were not able to do any video or photography during the show. So unfortunately, we won't be able to include that in the video. But at the end, we will let you know 
what we thought about the video. Um, they hold this show actually in the Amber Theater, which mm -hmm. is the fourth and fifth floors, fourth and fifth deck, excuse me. Um, and we are in the forward. Decks four and five forward is where that show is at the amphitheater. So, um, how many times a week do they play the show? Um, I think like three or four. Yeah, unfortunately, we were, were able to get to it the times, first couple but, days, but uh. Well, no, I chose to do it our last day because I knew it was going to be the longest and the most popular. So I figured that the majority of the people would have wanted to go earlier in the right. week and it would be less okay, crowded. Yeah. Now, so. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really popular show and a lot of people are raving about it. So we're gonna find out. So by looking to see what kind of entertainment they had aboard before we got on our cruise, we didn't have to spend time trying to decide what we wanted to see. Instead, we just logged into the app and went ahead and made our reservations right away. The water show was in the boardwalk area, which was reminiscent of a beachside boardwalk and where you're also going to find the carousel, Johnny Rockets, a hot dog stand, ice cream shop, Oh, and the rock climbing walls. After having a little fun in this area, we headed to dinner in the main dining room. Okay, second tip for you. If you see more than one thing on the menu that you wanna try and can't decide, just order both. Honestly, we did this a few nights as we just couldn't decide. All right, just a quick another tip for you. Um, the bread, man, have you ever been to like Red Lobster and you had those Cheddar Bay Biscuits? Yeah. Those Cheddar Bay Biscuits ain't got nothing on this bread right here. This one right here, right here, this is what's up. Oh, and we lost the footage yesterday. Tell them about your foodie pro tip. Or was it? You can get more than one thing. Oh yeah, you can get whatever you want on the menu. If you want two entrees, get two entrees. If you want two desserts, you want one entree, three desserts, and two starters. Two starters. Any you just combination. Do you. do you. Just ask for it. Make it happen. Just if you're gonna get it, make sure to eat it all. Don't don't be wasteful of all the food. Yeah, so whatever you want on the cruise ship, you can get it. So. Well, not everything. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get some of this bread in us. Not too much because I don't want to fill up my belly. Yeah. But uh. We'll see you in just a little bit. Want a bite? Alright guys, so I'm gonna go with the Asian style pork tacos um, and also the escargot because the escargot is crazy because okay. it's delicious. Yeah, I'm going to go For with my the pork tacos. dinner, I'm gonna go with the, uh, uh, the, the New York strip steak. And the garlic tiger shrimp. Can I add this side of the dessert? I'm going to do that terrible soup. So, I'll let you know when it comes out. We'll show you what it looks like. The highlight of our dinner the first night, believe it or not, was the escargot. It was delicious. After dinner, we headed to one of the lounges for an after dinner drink and listened to one of the bands for a while before heading to our last entertainment of the evening, which was the singing act. Um, so. Yes, yeah, so our, uh, the main entertainment that we went to last night, I mean, it was, it was a great show. Um, it was just a little bit different than what we were expecting. I mean, nonetheless, yeah. it was a great show. He's a great entertainer. entertainer. Um, he is from a very well-known group back in the day called the Letterman's. Um, lots of Grammy Awards, major hits, this, that, and the yeah. other, and I might even yeah, put it in. He said he did 84 albums. Well, the group did 84 albums. He wasn't with the group the entire time. Right. Um, but yeah, so he did redeem himself because he did throw some, some little comedic uh, punchlines and stuff in there that was kind of good and and I actually was singing along a little bit at one point too so yeah yeah Didn't he feel covered too, some too too mature right so. he covered some other songs from other artists um, he was a Vegas performer so obviously he has that stage performer and um, his his band was incredible <laughs> Okay, my traveling Pisces peeps, that is it for our first day on the Royal Caribbean Allure of the Seas. Tomorrow, we have a day at sea, so we're going to go lounge by the pool and see what other activities we can find. And yes, I remembered my sunscreen.
keep a lookout for our next video where we hit up Cozumel and almost didn't make it back to the cruise because we dropped the scooter keys in the crocodile infested waters. Yep, we did that. All right, so until next time, ciao for now.